This week I post the trading results of last week little bit later as usual. The reason is my wife is sick and I have to care, take care of two small children and that is not easy job actually. But now they are in kindergarten and I have time to record a video about the trading results from last week in commodities and futures trading based on CUT data and weather analysis. So overall I trade three strategies, CUT1 strategy based on CUT data, Champion CUT2 strategy based on CUT data as well. The difference is um, that in this strategy is a short term strategy, so more aggressive more entry patterns, so in the sum 11 entry patterns, more trading opportunities, but also aggressive risk and money management. And the uh, third one is weather strategy. With this strategy or the, in this strategy, I combine weather analysis with CUT data because we know that weather impact price of some certain commodities like cacao, grains, corn, uh, orange juice and so on. And therefore it makes sense to analyze weather, weather news, weather phenomena so, and so to get better um, data for trend prediction and for understanding which market I should uh, yeah, put on my watch list. So, with the uh, CUT1 strategy, um, all the trades from this strategy I post in Telegram channel, so in the front. Um, and uh, with this strategy, we realized $9,813 weekly profit. So with this Champion 2 strategy, it was not so successful this week, uh, minus $10,479. So this trading plan plans of this strategy are not in the Telegram channel. And uh, weather trading, also I post all the trading plans in Telegram channel of this strategy. So um, weekly profit $600. Now let's speak about the market what I traded last week. On this picture you see two portfolios. Left side with this portfolio I started in the last trading week and on the right side you see the portfolio with this portfolio I ended up the trading week. So I started in the trading week with a long position in wheat. I was 10 contracts long and uh, around about 20,000 open equity and I ended up this week with an empty portfolio. So first of all take a look uh, to CRB index. This is a index for commodities prices and as you can see this index pull back from this trend line. If this trend line will hold we will see higher commodities prices and so we can put more market on the long side for long, for long trades. Also, dollar after some correction is dollar still strong and we see also large speculator starts to build um, long positions. So check the um, watch list from the last week. On the buy side we had dollar index Mexican peso, wheat, platinum, copper, sugar and um, on the sell side a Swiss franc rice and lean hugs. So let's speak about the trades, what we did last week. So here you can see the weekly chart of wheat. So I analyze CUT data, open interest, seasonal trend, uh, trend, weekly trend. And so I got my buy or sell signals based on CUT data. So as you can see, we had second buy signal in a row, so it means so we are in the strong uptrend and if you take a look to CUT data, CUT data confirm this uptrend. So on daily chart you can see that um, it was the second trade. We see that we are in the uptrend on daily chart, but this trend has no big movement or big moment. So it uh, comes very slow, up and down, up and down. 
so as you can see after three days usually we have some correction and so we decided to uh, close the position after we saw three strong days then one inside bar so it was clear okay now the market is in correction and it makes sense to um, realize uh, profit so and to wait until new entry opportunity and uh, it was our plan and therefore um, so I realized the profit and the profit uh, was $10,500 with this trade. So now you see the spread. So and spread, um, yeah, um, spread is OK. We don't see some um, divergence and therefore um, I think the uptrend will still uh, going up. So next trade Swiss franc. So as you can see on the weekly chart, we are in the downward trend and uh, we got uh, three sell signals based on COT data. And also if you analyze the trend, trend is also downward. And therefore I decided to open in a short position. So I opened, you can see also on the daily chart that the trend is down and I uh, used the uh, uh, pullback or correction of the market to open a short position. So I um, used also very small, very small stop. So with, uh, I traded this market with very small risk and therefore, um, yeah, um, I was topped out with a loss of 600. 87. So next market, I didn't trade this market, but I had this market on the watch list and maybe it makes sense to speak about um, uh, toys market, what I had on the watch list to understand why I didn't open here in long position. So and uh, as you can see, I expected that the trend will continue and will override this high here. Then in this case, so I get the confirmation of um, upward trend and so I can open a long position but it didn't happen so um, as you can see so the uh, high wasn't uh, overwritten and therefore yeah I didn't open here and long position so sugar I expected uh, that sugar um, will come out of this uh, range market and uh, after that so I would like to risk my money here because we are not in a range market anymore it's very difficult to trade in the range market because the vol uh, volatility is high and uh, if you put some, some your stop in the range of the range market so in this yellow area the probability that you will be stopped out is very high therefore i waited until the market went out of this area and uh, yeah now i'm looking for an entry pattern so us dollar index so i planned here an entry so i posted it also in telegram channel but uh, i wasn't triggered so and therefore um, the correction continue um, it was not only three days it was uh, five days in a row and uh, I decided to wait until the correction end and then to uh, find an entry. And uh, yeah, last week I um, uh, didn't find an entry pattern to go into the market. Platinum, also platinum, we got what, uh, what we wanted. So the high here was overwritten and therefore, yeah, now I am waiting for a correction to open here in long position. So copper um, so as you can see we have in copper also very strong seasonal trend but um, the, the price followed this trend and then interrupted uh, the movement and we saw some correction under 80, 18 moving average and in this case so um, the market for me it's too weak so I need more strongness in the market and I wait until the price increase above 18 moving average so and then um, so I will look for um, an entry pattern rise um, yeah rise um, took out this low so it means uh, we have downward trend on the daily chart so now we can start uh, yeah 
start to uh, focus on this market and wait until um, our entry button will ap appear in this market. So Linhox, so I waited until a correction because on the um, we have um, sell signal based on CUT data on weekly chart and on daily chart you can see we are in the downward trend so the next step is to wait until we have correction here and then we can open in short position but this outside bar so um, the smash or the damage of the picture because I waited until two three um, good correction days and then um, so I wanted to open a short position but uh, this outside bar just smash all the movement and therefore I decided not go into the market because of this um, uh, price pattern. As next step I would like to speak about the weather trading strategy because I post also all the trades in the um, telegram group and for party participants of this telegram group it's easy to understand um, to understand the trading results if I speak about first about the strategy what um, what I post in um, telegram channel so we had here um, and profit we have here in profit uh, about six hundred dollars so we had here some commodities stocks in the portfolio and this commodity stock showed some strongness and I decided to close this position but uh, I will speak about it a little bit later now first of all so wheat we had a um, profit um, about 240 dollars dollars we closed the position as you saw before and the CUT1 strategy with a higher profit so and uh, with um, this strategy we decided to wait maybe until the correction will be not so deep and um, our stop will uh, be not hit and uh, we will see the continue of the movement to the upside but um, yeah the correction was more than two three days and uh, our stop on the little bit about the break even point was hit and therefore we have profit small profit about 240 dollars so then we have some stocks as you can see here first one is cf so we um, had this um, stock commodity stock in our portfolio for yeah um, little bit about four four months so and uh, we decided to close this position uh, because we want to focus only on futures so this is mm, not close this position in minus now and uh, the second stock commodity stock what i closed what i sell is um, oxy so also here we uh, so strong uh, movement to the upside above our entry point and I decided to close this position so I will do it with the rest of the portfolio too and uh, from from that point I I want to focus only on futures trade so CUT2 strategy it was a big loss about ten thousand four hundred seventy ninety seven dollars so we had before four uh, winning weeks and this week is a losing week okay it happens so and uh, let's take a look to the trades so we had a short trade in Australian dollar so after we see here a downward trend correction we open short position in correction but the market um, so um, hit our stop so here next one Swiss franc also very small stop here very small risk the first trade was successful the second trade with small risk uh, we had here very small loss uh, loss and um, next one soybean oil um, also here we had a sell signal so and um, I decided to open so there are some weakness but um, maybe it was not a good trade because as you can see we are here in the range market and uh, maybe it was a um, good idea to wait until we see more weakness in this market and uh, um, more clear downward trend on daily chart and then 
open the short position, but okay, um, it's done. So and uh, so I got here also and last, and the last one is copper. Copper, it was not not good trade. I'm not happy about that. So um, I have no loss here uh, in this market, but I moved the stop, uh, the the stop too fast. So during the day, what I usually don't do so and um, therefore um, I got some small profit but if I would do it um, in the normal way um, so usually what I usually do so and usually I move my stop in the evening so before um, the market close uh, then um, I, I would have here some loss and therefore I am not happy about this trade because it was not based on rules that's it thank you very much for your time please don't forget i post every monday the trading results from the last trading week so and uh, yeah see you next monday and if you want to follow me and to uh, look over my shoulder and to learn from me so you can subscribe our telegram channel for free under this video you will find a link to our free telegram channel so have a nice week please um, take care about your trading account think about the risk and money management this is most important thing and uh, yeah i see you next monday